You know, I could have sworn that with the new hammer we could have dealt more damage to them, but I clearly I was wrong. I was definitely wrong there. Oop. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Yeah, that's not our ex-buddy. I need a nap. There we go. Okay, I'm kind of sad that my friend is not responding, but I'm kind of happy that I get to stay. <laughs> That's fair. Listen, if your friend does respond, don't worry about it. Go hang out with your friend. Until then, feel free to just vibe with us here. You know? Alright, so no part- my partner can't do any damage. Or my partner can't attack at all. Give me a bunch of fuzzies. So I think... I think I've seen as many, uh, lots of fuzzies already. Thanks to the Pit of a Hundred Trials. There, there was a flower fuzzy down there. And you know what? We'll see the jungle fuzzy again. I, I won't need to tattle on him. Well, suck up your souls? No thank you! Let's see if I can just blow you guys away with some fire. Fabulous! And here, this will not do any damage. It specifically says don't let your partner do any damage. Oh, it's just a green fuzzy, not a forest fuzzy? Huh. Alright. Oh, this one multiplies. It would look great next to a gold fuzzy? Really? I'm so glad I've got the Zap Tap badge on. <laughs> it makes fuzzies a joke. Here, let's stomp you. Perfect. Fabulous fight. Honestly, the Glitz Pit is a really solid area. It's one of the areas that people remember the most about this game. Personally, I'm looking forward to Keel Hall Key and the Excess Express. This entire game is fabulously designed. Galene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. Eh, no, we'll ignore it, because if we eat that cake, we will- actually, you know what, let's eat the cake. So we're not actually supposed to eat this cake, this cake is poisoned. So later on we will take damage. However, when before I take 20 HP worth of damage. Well, good! That's fine with me. The reason I am eating that cake is because I want to see if it'll activate my uh, Power Rush badges. Speaking of... Let's... Do some badge management. 
I won't need the fire drive for the magic Koopa, so let's three, three up, three BP. Add charge. Add last stand. And we'll do Mega Rush, just in case I end up re uh, dropping down to 1 HP by some sheer accident. Or, you know, me being a one brain cell little fox. Alright, we don't have any Magic Koopas in our list. So I want Goombella to tattle on as many of them as possible. If I'm not mistaken, I need to take out the white Magic Koopa first because that is the utility and healer. We got a red mage, a green mage, and a white mage. So, first things first meat shield, tattle white Magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Detect the magic and can replenish its allies' HP. Better hit it first, huh? Oh, it all, this also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying, because then you can't tell the real deal from the copy. Hey, have a good run, then. Let's see. I want to actually... Now we'll do a normal jump, see what happens. And just... A basic guard will be fine here. I just realized I technically took 9 points of damage from all of that. Because I don't think it just means Mario, I think it means total. So I'm actually a little bit in danger. Oop, hydrate. Good call. Oh, yes, the in peril badge worked. I love it. And you gave him zap tap. That's okay. As of right now, I let me take a drink of water before anything. And posture check. Fresh bottle of water here. I took a super sip for that. Thank you. Get off my head. Get off my head. Eh. Ah. Eh. There we go. <sighs> Do I tattle red? No, let's multibonk. Or fail to do so. That's cool too. Oh, they're frozen! Beautiful! That means only one of them is gonna attack me. It didn't even attack me, it just super healed. Oh, that's fabulous. Let's switch partners. And then, I'll spin jump you! And overkill. Realizing that I get really lucky by finding Kyogre in the wild because I checked it and it can only be found in legendary eggs. You did! You did get stupid lucky! Oreo! Oh no, I forgot he made an appearance here. Hang on. My vocal cords are not warmed up for this. 
Whoa, another fighter storming and screaming his fool head off about something. Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Who? Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street has, was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville, and looky here. Talk about perfect timing. And now all these folks get to watch me myrtleize you. Ah. Man, that is a strain. Alright, am I still in danger? Because that'll give me a huge boost to my attack. I am. I'm out of FP, though, so why don't we switch to you? Nope, nope, yep. And give me... Chug this syrup, Mario. And then you... Spin jump! I have rare egg move Pyro Ball on Tinka Tink, by the way. Ooh! Beautiful! Honestly, Pyro Ball on Tinka Tink will give you a lot of good checks. Nothing that really Tinka Tink needs, but still. Tinka Tink's, uh type coverage is severely lacking. I forgot I need to tattle Bowser. Koops can't be poisoned? That's dope. That's Bowser, but what's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Fake out, Gigaton Hammer, Play Rough, and Skitter Smack. Yeah, honestly, without Skitter Smack, we would not have been able to win last time. I have learned how amazing Skitter Smack is. Hey, we got lucky! Oh yeah! Without Skitter Smack, we would not have won at all. And we leveled up. Le thank you, Cat, for pushing the microphone into my face. Ten centimeters is the magic number, kid. Remember that. Alright, and as always, badge points. When will I ever increase my HP? The world may never know. I like Meganium's design. But it has absolutely nothing going for it besides HP. Better grass types exist. It is meant to be a tank that cannot tank to save its life. Yeah, Chikorita alone is just... Not so cute. Not so cute at all. Alright, now he's like, excuse me, I must be going. Alright, have a good one, Ren. See you around. Alright, you know what, let me do something risky. And go into the fight with the little HP. No partner swap? Sure. I can do that. Umbella, you're a meat shield again. Mm -hmm. 
I should save. It's been a hot minute since I saved. The Dark Gatekeeper. Fight to fin fin finish with Craw Daddy. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the un to the netherworld. Get yourselves ready to battle! Don't swap partners. Easy squeezy, tattle. Oh wait, no, I leveled up, so my health is maxed again. Ah, for gore. That is some, that is some serious attack power. For one of the male spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. Haha, <laughs> pun. Good job, so yeah, don't jump on him. Smash him with a hammer. Ah, get washed up. Ow. He was faster than I expected. So you know what? You're gonna defend. Take a little less damage and become a good wall for me. So if I can just super guard him once, this next attack should take him out, theoretically. Or, you know, this next attack should take him out anyway. But I just got a power boost. Hammer time, people, let's go. Beautiful. Huh, the x have zippers in their backs. I didn't notice that before. And they all look like Deli Bird. Man, the Power Rush badges are phenomenal when you're doing a low HP run. All right, when, what is our next mission? Oop, there we go. Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion. I also just realized that that was still on screen. Not bad. Gonzalez, good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rock Hawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. Har 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 har. What a creep! How dare he threaten us like that? Talk about low class. Wait, he threatened us. You think that e hate email came from old chicken legs? I don't think he knows how to work a computer. If he does, he probably types using the hunt and peck method. Haha, -ha, joke. All right, we need to go to the phone booth. Do telephone booths even exist anymore? I mean, actual functional ones. I don't imagine they do. Oh, the storage room key. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office. Ah, don't worry, Goombella. I am very certain that we're nearing the end of the chapter. We are rank what? Ranked third, fourth, something like that? We're getting up there. Once we're ranked number one, that's probably gonna open the final arc of the chapter. 